Hello and welcome to the first lesson on Introduction to Affiliate Marketing video course. During this course we will discuss the basics of affiliate marketing and I will do my best to give you a brief overview of what it is, how it works, and how you can use it to effectively build your business. Now in this first lesson let's talk a little bit about affiliate marketing, what it is, and some of the things that you can do to become a widely successful affiliate marketer. Now affiliate marketing basically means that you are marketing for other people and businesses in exchange for a commission. Now the typical commission runs between 30 and 75 percent with 50 percent being the average. When you first join an affiliate program you are given an affiliate link that goes to the website of the product owner. This special link is encoded with your unique affiliate ID and when you send someone to the product owner's site through your special link and they can make a purchase you receive a commission. Now that's how it works. This works out great because both of you, you the product owner, make a nice paycheck and the product owner makes more sales and cuts down on advertising costs at the same time. One of the main things that make affiliate marketing so great is that having or creating your own product is not necessary. You also don't have to deal with customer support, complaints, refunds, and the headaches that come along with product selling and selling your own product. Now the only thing an affiliate needs to be successful is some basic internet marketing skills and the desire to succeed. Now I'm assuming that you already have some basic knowledge under your belt so we're going to dive right in today and talk about some of the simple tactics that affiliate marketers can use to increase their chances of success. First let's talk about using unique web pages to promote each separate product that you are marketing. It's very very important not to lump all of your chosen affiliate programs together on one site or one website or one landing page just to save money on web hosting. I, I see that a lot and a lot of people make the mistake of you know adding all these different types of affiliate programs to one page. And that's a big mistake right there and it is best to have a site or at least very least a subdomain focusing on each and every product and nothing more. But And even with subdomains sometimes they look unprofessional too. So and, and the reason why you want to separate your affiliate programs, this way you can streamline and target your marketing efforts for better results. And be sure to make the pages attractive, compelling, and include calls to action in the content. Each headline should attract the readers and get them to read more. Highlight special bulleted points, and this will help your readers to learn what the product is about and will make them want to find out more. And this is when they will click on your affiliate link and will help you make more commissions. The next thing I want to talk about is product reviews. Another thing you can do is include product reviews on the product web pages that you set up. So visitors will have an initial understanding of what the product can do for those that buy them. Then we have articles. You can also include articles that you write or with reprint rights that highlight the uses of the product and posting them on the website as an additional page will also help increase your free search engine traffic and chances of success. The last thing I want to talk about in this particular section is collecting contact information. Now let's talk about collecting contact information by offering free reports to your prospects. Now this does two important things for your affiliate business. It allows you to further educate your prospects and follow up with them in the future so you have them on your list. You will want to create a short report and series of 7 to 10 autoresponder messages that will be emailed to people who sign up to receive your free report. So you're building your list. Now did you know that according to research a sale is usually closed on the seventh contact with a prospect? And if you think about yourself, sometimes you have to go to a website several times before you actually make the purchase. So that's the same idea here. And that's the reason you will want to create a series of follow-up messages. 
When you are creating your content, focus on the important points like how the product can make things easier and more enjoyable for people who purchase it. Do your best to convince those who signed up for your free report that they will be missing something bigger if they don't take the time to at least check out the product or service that you are recommending. And be sure that the content gives specific reasons to buy the product without making it sound like a sales pitch. And you gotta keep in mind that by providing useful information to your visitors, doing so will only increase your chances of making a commission. And that's it for this particular section. In your next video, we will be talking about what you should look for in an affiliate program before you actually start joining them. I will see you there in the next video.